Benjamin, a talented driver, but so are so many of these other competitors. We have on the raceway at the 400, many of these campaigners coming to the 400 for one of their big stops towards the end of the season. That gave us a great field this weekend, and Elliott and Jones coming to green from turn four. Jones way sideways, bottom of the track. He's able to save it, continue on. We've seen Jones out of control a couple of times, but he's able to save good, talented driver in that number two position. Eric Jones drops in line behind Chase Elliott. Chess Choquette in third, and we just talked about Kyle Benjamin. He's worked his way up to fourth now in the number 71 machine. He'll take a peek to the inside of Chess Choquette. Elliott looking for something in the car to throw out on the racetrack right now, saying, give me a caution, somebody. I need a yellow bat as Elliott just hanging on to it right now. He's in the fourth position, and Eddie Van Meter in the 23. Yellow flag is out, and Van Meter's good. Top 10 run today, blowing up. Now here's the good news. I believe Van Meter and the 23, a lot of that coming out of the exhaust. If it's coming out of the exhaust, there's a chance that he did not put down a whole lot of liquid. He will drop low, head towards the pits, off of four. Again, the 23 of Van Meter exploding an engine, but I think most of it coming out of the exhaust, let's hope. If it came out of the exhaust, we've got a good chance that not a whole lot of liquid was put down on the raceway. Daniel Hemrick already has four fresh tires since the race started. He has the luxury of staying out this time. The feeding frenzy underway on pit road. Benjamin goes by first. Here comes Ross Kenton to get those original left sides off, as is Chase Elliott. Johnny Van Dorn has made numerous pit stops today to get back into contention. Schoenfeld goes by, Wilson goes by, Ross Kenseth, left side tires and fuel going on. Eric Jones already down and rolling. Here comes Johnny Van Dorn. Kenseth now away, good stop for Van Dorn. Slow stop for Chase Elliott, still working on that car. Now he's down and away. Ben Kennedy getting right sides. On farther down, still more cars working. We see Paula Pollard in just now down off the jacks. And they all start to roll away. And over coming out of turn number two was Donnie Wilson in the pits as well as the number 71 of Benjamin. We'll see how it all sorts out. But the Chase Elliott team really, really needed that pit stop. They were on 270 lap old left side tires. We talk about the youth being served at the front of this race. Get this for how young some of the drivers up front are. There are older cars in this race than drivers. Dennis Schoenfeld driving the Woody Wagon. It's a 16 year old chassis. Yeah, that's right, the race leader was born after they built his car. 126 laps remaining, 125 to go when they take the green this time as Daniel Hemmerich leads them on a four. Brian Nook on the green flag and Hannah, we're back underway. Hemmerich a decent restart, will lead the field into turns one and two. Jones a little bit quicker through the corners with that fresh rubber, will take the lead. Benjamin on the inside lane, racing for second with Hemmerich. 275 complete. Kenseth lining up on the inside. So is Van Dorn. So is the 29. Now caught on the outside is Chiquette. He needs to get low as the 54 of Hemrick is backpedaling early. Don't notice it flapping quite as much on the front straightaway as what it does heading into turn three. Some of that, he's got the headwind heading down the front stretch. Driving straight into the headwind on the back stretch, got the tailwind helping push him down the straightaway. 294 complete. Daniel Henrik off the pace in the number 54. Henrik drops off the pace, was right in front of Chuck Barnes Jr. in the 77. And Henrik, the Kannapolis, North Carolina driver in the 54 after his Jags championship in 2012, heading pit side. Henrik looks like all tires are up, but he's coming into his pit stall. Tom Frank, the 21-year-old, as you mentioned, the 2012 Jag Series All-Stars Tour, presented by Chevrolet Performance Champion on pit road. Looks like, they, looks like they're going to work on the right side of that Chevrolet. Removing the right rear tire, and also Austin Terriol, the Fort Kent main driver, another driver in our top 10 that's had a great run today. He's on pit road, so things starting to play a part. The attrition now, and who will finish up front on the lead lap? Austin Terry all pit side, and so is the 54 of Hemrick. Hemrick moving back toward the raceway. Up front, Eric Jones. Oh, Kyle Benjamin in the turns one and two wall. He was running in second, but he keeps on going. Benjamin not hitting the wall too awful hard, but nevertheless, it's enough to bring the 14-year-old down pit road. Tough break for that Kyle Benjamin Motorsports 4 out of Easley, South Carolina. Hemrick came back out onto the track, but the 54 car of Hemrick back onto pit road and the 71 of Benjamin stopping before pit road to bring out a yellow. That will probably result in an additional penalty, too, as Benjamin brings out a caution flag. 
Maybe the right front going down, sending him into the wall up in turns one and two. I didn't see him hit. You did, but I think the right front looks like it is down. And Kyle Benjamin, a definite threat to win today, was up there in that second spot looking so strong behind Eric Jones and Kyle Benjamin. Pit boards out. Here comes the whole field. Johnny Van Dorn going to lead him down pit road this time. Uh, this has got to be about the 10th time into the pits for the Van Dorn team. Ross Kenseth goes by. Jeff Choquette's damage 29. Chase Elliott back in for just a second time today. Pit work going on with these teams. Ross Kenseth down around to the right side. Chase Elliott, they're working on the hood of the car and left side tires on Chase Elliott. Right side on Johnny Van Dorn. Right side as well on Nate Carruth. Also trying to clean the grills off. Lots of rubber balls built up on the grills of these. Johnny Van Dorn going to be the first one out. Chase Elliott now down. Kenseth is down. They're going to go back off pit road. The order they came down. Nate Carruth, this crew taking their time making sure they have all the legs tight and that board rolls back out as well two tires and gas great job today bob corson down on pit road in the second round of pit stops for the drivers not on the lead lap justin Alsip, jay newick green flag coming off of four for jones and wilson jones leads them on a four she said her brian nuck in the green flag at hand and we're back underway here and winchester and jones with a great start going into turns one and two Bubba Pollard looking to the outside of Donnie Wilson for the second spot as they are side by side hitting into three and four. Pollard is going to be able to make the pass of Wilson who is caught on the inside lane. Not where he wants to be right now. Chuck Barnes Jr. goes to the outside. For the third position, Chuck Barnes Jr. will make a move on Donnie Wilson. Wilson gives him some room coming down the back stretch. He's got a chance to get in line now if Wilson can go high soon enough. Wilson running in the fourth spot, trying to get up in front of Kenseth and unable to do so. Ross Kenseth goes to the outside, the fourth position up for grabs. Chuck Barnes Jr. started 27th. He is up to third now on the 77 machine. The former series champion on the podium. He's not satisfied. He's going after. He'll take second spot away from Bubba Pollard. Had a good qualifying effort at Lucas Oil Raceway, but really just rode back in the field. Ended up at the end of the race, finishing second there. And today, much the same. Has come out of nowhere. In fact, went a lap down at one point, but Barnes is in second. Yellow out trouble trouble in turns one and two Norris has gone around the original cause for the yellow is Norris down in one and two in the aftermath the 43 of Schoenfeld heavy heavy damage to the 43 Schoenfeld headers car tough break for Dennis Schoenfeld in the 43 he had a top 10 running going for most of the event in the Schoenfeld header Chevrolet from Van Buren Arkansas a little bit of fire underneath the hood of the 43 of Schoenfeld He's starting to be ready to climb out of the car in case it ignites any worse than it is right now. The fire putting itself out underneath the engine compartment area. Dennis Schoenfeld, the Van Buren, Arkansas driver. With a in this event, the Sam Pierce Chevrolet Pace truck is going to pull on to pit road. It's in the hands of Chuck Barnes Jr. on the inside of row number one as a Louisville, Kentucky driver will lead the field through turns three and four. Chief starter Brian Duncan has the green flag hand. Barnes slams on the gas, green flags out, and we're back underway. Underway, the green waving. Barnes goes into the lead. It is a battle for second. Donnie Wilson trying to hold on to it. Looks like he will. Has the 25 of Kenseth dropping in the line behind him. The 61 of Van Dorn is fourth and for the lead. Wilson challenges to the bottom of Barnes. Barnes and Wilson side by side across the line that time. Give the lead now to Donnie Wilson, the number two machine. Ross Kenseth now looking to the inside of Chuck Barnes Jr. for the second spot. Johnny in the lead started today's race in fourth had a good qualifying effort we've got trouble Nelms goes around down off of the banking in turn number two and Nelms in the number eight car brings out the yellow don't believe he hit anything too hard if he did hit anything at all the car spun kind of oddly when he hit the apron he does drive it away from the scene with a flat left rear tire on the number eight of Josh Nelms 353 complete and now we'll see what the 71 car of Benjamin can do is I believe he will be your lucky dog recipient. And also, how many drivers will elect to take a pit stop now, thinking this could be kind of a final dash to the cash. Here we go for what could be the final time. These guys heads down pit row. Chuck Barnes going to go all the way around to turn one and two where that Kevin Kreider Motorsports machine is pitted. Johnny Van Dorn back into the pits. Jeff Choquette goes by as well. Who would have thought it for the damage on that car that he'd be a contender to win? 
win this. Left side tires for Van Dorn. Ben Kennedy gonna go for right side tires. Chase Elliott, right side tires. Newick holding his own, he maintains fifth spot. Johnny Van Dorn, but Apollo just shall get three wide behind Newick into turn three. Three wide does not work at too many places. Newick gets up into the wall, checking up, trouble on the front stretch. Contact, 29 at Chiquette, damage to the front end of his car. Chase Elliott held up, caution out. Yellow flag out, Chiquette with damage on the front end of his race car. His damage when he got into the 84 of Newick, who got sideways, and Chiquette nowhere to go. And the damage to the hood and nose piece of his car. I think the wheel's still going in the right direction. Just got a lot of body damage underneath the tires and wheels. They'll have to get that pulled away when he comes to pit road. But messing up. Holding up the 26 of Pollard, 96 of Kennedy. Elliott running the high lane, trying to pick up some spots. Gets around Benjamin in the 71. Barnes is following him in the 77. Wilson spins. Turn two. Jones nowhere to go. Collision in front of the field. Carruth locks her down. Oh, he runs into him. 96 of Kennedy involved in the four of Jones with heavy damage. Caution flag is out. Bad crash coming off of turn number two. It was all started when Wilson in the two lost it on his own, got sideways coming off of the second corner. Mentioned a lap or so before his car looked really free on exit and the car lost it coming off of two. My goodness, knocking out four of our lead lap cars in that incident. Donnie Wilson in the two. Looks like the four of Eric Jones, also the 76, and Nate Carruth was involved. Yep. Johnny Van Dorn twice, finishing second in the Winchester 400, looking for a win today, which would be his first. It's a big race. He's already claimed the point championship, and the field coming to green, turn four. 382 will go on the board. Van Dorn and Kenseth wheel to wheel, rubbing a little bit as they come to the green. My goodness, a bumping and grinding between Van Dorn and Kenseth. As Van Dorn all kinds of sideways out of turn number two. Damon Acoff under the turn two wall. He'll continue moving forward. We'll stay green. Kyle Benjamin up to third and a 71. They are wheeling those two cars at the front of the field. And Ross Kenseth did a great job. And you know who else is doing great right now? Kyle Benjamin, the 71 to the outside of Van Dorn for the number two spot. Benjamin, at one point, you mentioned, had lost four laps at one point or another in the race. He is now challenging Van Dorn for second. Kenseth likes what he sees behind him. He's leading 384 Two laps to go for Kenseth in the 25. Ross Kenseth, your leader, Kyle Benjamin, has two laps remaining to get by. The Spring Valley, Illinois driver, Benjamin, on his back bumper is a white flag being displayed this time by. Final circuit, one to go for the 25 of Kenseth, the 71 of Benjamin. They race into one and two. Kenseth holding on to the lead, looking good off of two. Here comes Benjamin fighting back to the rear bumper, looks to the inside in turn three. Battle for the lead, battle for the race win. They bump doors, coming to the line. Contact, Benjamin at the line wins. Kyle Benjamin wins in the 71. Ross Kins is second, Chase Elliott third, Johnny Van Dorn fourth, Bubba Pollard fifth, Jay Newick sixth. Those are the cars left on the lead lap. Nice round of applause for these two competitors. 14-year-old Kyle Benjamin, 19-year-old Ross Kenseth. Upon post-race inspection, an issue was found in car number 71, Kyle Benjamin's ignition system. The win was then taken away from Benjamin and handed to car number 25, Ross Kenseth. Here are the revised final results of the 2012 ARCA CRA Super Series Winchester 400.